Okay, so you've uh, you've got yourself a YouTube account. Um, so let's go to YouTube, and uh, this this is how well this is how to upload, which is pretty straightforward. So you've logged in, you click on upload, you go to select files from your computer. Um, I'm just going to upload this one, which will be quite fast. Um, I've written elsewhere a blog post on uh, how to um, optimize. Uh, your uh, your videos for search on YouTube. So if you want to do that, go and read that blog post, um, which I'll link to off the blog post that this video is going to be embedded in. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, then uh, go and visit our blog. The link is in the description. Um, so, <clears throat> um, so here I'm just uploading a, a thing I shot last night with a sunset. So I'm just going to put sunset on it. Now, if you want to uh, if you want to make your video findable, um, then do all the SEO. Uh, things that I desc I've described before in, in this other blog post and put your description in here and your tags in here and blah 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 um, but for the purposes of this I'm going to assume that for some reason you want to embed it um, in your website without necessarily making it uh, findable on, on YouTube as a, as, a, as a searchable social network so in order to do that you click here you look at privacy and you click on unlisted um, and then you save it and then once it's finished uploading which it will do any second now and processing ditto um, you can go to here which is where the video now is and it's being processed at the moment but that doesn't change anything so what you then want to do um, is you want to take this oh you can't see it hang on <laughs> I'll make it a bit easier go to share uh, look at the shortened link down here now the bit of information you want is this bit here oh let's, let's just copy the whole shortened link and then we're going to stick that over here in a notepad. You're going to cut this bit out here, copy, and then you're going to take my player code, which I've put into this um, into this blog post, and you're going to put it in two places. You're going to put it in here, like that. So you're just copying this in, and like that. Um, and then from that, you're going to then take the player code itself so copy all of that. Now you can adjust the size of this player by changing these values here, width and height, but you have to change them twice. Width and height there and width and height there. So once you've done that, um, also the other thing you can do with this player code is if you don't want it to automatically play when people visit your website, which I would discourage you from doing because it's annoying, um, you can see the, this bit here where it says auto play equals one, you delete that value and you change it to autoplay equals naught and then up here again there we go so that's nice and simple copy and then you stick it into your site I'm gonna just move an application over so you can see me doing that stick it into the source code of your site like that paste and then as you can see you have a lovely YouTube player there which sits just as a simple um, simple little image thumbnail image from the uh, from the video on your website very attractively and uh, once you click on play um, it will just play the video and you'll notice there's no YouTube branding anywhere um, on down here it all looks like you um, you've got HD options um, if uh, if you if your video supports that which this one does so I'm just going to change it to HD um, yeah, there you go. Um, and the only time you get any link back to a YouTube channel is up here, because that will take you back to YouTube. But other than that, you've got um, you've got no excess YouTube branding, and you've got a nice chromeless, what they call a chromeless, skinless little player here um, on your own website. Um, so that.